Some more coffee? Um, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh, okay. Hello once again audience and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. Where did we leave off? Oh, I threw up. Uh, whose war base did I throw up? My war base. I was asked in my comments to actually show Max war base and she did just that but she forgot to actually record. So she did her war attack and got two stars a little bit earlier on. Um, and where did we leave off of war? I see a lot more activity in the Alliance, which is nice. It's good to see. And people that are actually, you know, want to be active. Uh, not a whole, not, not any really high level players, but I mean, that's fine. Everybody starts somewhere. Um, yeah, let's just move that stable around. Where am I at? I've got about another day left on my tower till it's finished. Um, more importantly, I've got two days and 12 hours till my tactics are actually done. Uh, Darth Chad. Where are we at in war? We've got that two stars. Uh, they've got seven stars and four attacks in. They've used four attacks. Have they actually used four attacks? They got two stars on Mac from their number one. Uh, number four went against Saul and got 37%, no stars. Yomite and the Gunpowder Age went against Boomers, who's in the medieval age, I think. Yeah, he's in the medieval age. So that's kind of like eight down. That's what I did last time, isn't it? Uh, we're going straight across this time. Because we want everybody to actually have the ability to play the game. Which means that they need to be leaned on a little bit in order to progress and use their war attacks. I'm not sure if we can actually do a quick victory on this one. We can certainly try. A level 10 Joan. That doesn't really surprise me. This looks kind of similar. This looks similar to my war base. It's got good coverage here from his mortars. Town center there. Um, Joan. Readout tower. Level 1 readout tower. What do we got over here? That's his alliance gate. I'm pretty sure if we drop a tactic right there, we should be able to disable those three and then work our way directly in. Because so I want to get at both of these as soon as possible. So that's what we're going to do. You can't gorilla those either because there's no gates to get to them. So, let's see where we're at. Uh, I've got a shield. Joan, Joan on Joan. We'll get some Joan on Joan action. Action. Troop request sent. Was it actually sent though? Oh, there we go. Thanks for the troops, Mac. Even though she's not really here. <laughs> oh. Cannon. Heavy. Uh, where do we get cannon heavy? Three musketeers. We got the three musketeers. Ha 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 ha. Um, again, I am going heavier on... I've got five, now I've got six cannons. Six cannons, two supply cars, five heavies, 19 musketeers, plus the three in my alliance, three heavy Gatliners, Joan of Arc, 
And I've got Mahout and his wife. Um, a couple of these guys. Tertio. Tertios. And I think that's a... Yeah, that's a raider. That'll serve us well. And Ronin. We like Ronin. Ronin's good. All right. Daddy, I know why I'm not getting my cake. Why are you not? The cake is a lie. <laughs> the cake is getting stuck in the machine. Okay. I'm going to throw sparkles. All right, let's see what we can do. This, I think I'm going to have to use all my tactics here, meaning that I won't have tactics for the next attack. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Away we go. No double taps. Don't die, don't die. Uh, heavies. Disable. One, two, three, four, five. Alliance troops. Joan. Some protection. More heavies. And the rest of my guys there. Oh, see, shoot. Everyone on that. Are we going to be able to get through this? 14, 13, As long as that stays there, we should be all right. Four, three, two, one. There we go. What are you guys doing? Protect your cannons. You only got four of them left. Let's just get you all to come over. Come on. Why are you being silly? Everybody come back over here. Thank you. A minute 48 left. I've got one tactic remaining. There says Joan. Uh, we've got three of our cannons left. I don't think that's enough to make it through. Come back here. That readout tower is doing a number on our troops. And, oh, our supply carts are both down. That's probably what's causing a lot of our problems. <sighs> are we going to make it through here? Oh, see, I don't know. We, did we get, we got the town center. We didn't get the quick victory. No quick victory. 80%, 30 seconds left. Um, I think that was certainly detrimental to our attack was losing two cannons or three cannons right off the hop. Uh, spike trap just caught one. Come on, Joan. Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, so close. So yeah, certainly losing your cannons doesn't help. I'm actually, I'm pretty happy about that. I don't think that's that bad. Uh, three against their one. 
No quick victory. I don't know why I didn't... I, oh, it's got to be within three minutes anyways. Pew, pew, pew! Let's retrain. All production buildings are currently upgrading. That makes me sad. Um, let's go back here. Because we should be able to get... Oh, wait a minute. No. We're going to go recruit. Four diamonds. We want one, two. That one and that one. And... Yeah, lucky us! Now we should be able to get... I'm just going to get one Mahout this time. And do we get a Raider? No, we don't get a Raider. We get a Ronin. Hooray! There it is. Uh, so there you have it. Three stars on there, number one. Uh, let's, let's scout him again. I want to take another look. 95% is... I, I'm happy with that. I think that's pretty solid. His war base looks very similar to mine. I've got to be honest. Um, and there's a few of these buildings that you would get into with gorillas, but his walls are very well upgraded. Um, I'd, I'd have to say well done. Good job. Nice base. Very nice base. Garrisons. Good fortification. I mean, and his defenses aren't even upgraded yet. Like, his mortar towers are still a level below mine. Uh, same with his readout towers. I'm not sure if that tower is upgraded or not. That's an upgraded... Yeah. No, I say I say good on you. His road network's solid. He's got it going on. Yeah, you can see that his road network starts here, and it does actually increase quite a lot on the basis that he's got it going all the way around, like even into there. Yeah, so his, his, I'm positive, I'm positive that his increase on the strength of his um, town center is probably huge. And I can guarantee on max base what happened is that Steven there, number one, uh, was sucked into actually trying for the quick victory. And I think the difference between quick victory on Steven's base versus what I did is one star, obviously, and I got 95% of the way through. Uh, let's pay a visit to Max base. Yeah, so hers, you know, at first glance, Max base appears like you could, you know, just jump in there and run it right over. However, that's not the case. Her coverage is fantastic on her mortars. Um, and once you actually get inside and get going for that quick victory, you've got three mortar cannons that are all firing upon you right when you hit that center. And obviously, you know, these little cannon towers don't help either. They get mm -hmm. in on the action, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Complemented with, you'll know, this is actually a pretty common strategy to use. To have your castle or your fort right next to your town center. Uh, that way when the defenders come out from here or when people actually come in, that's when your general gets activated and he stays within the confines of this wall, uh, making it very troop heavy. She got excellent ins and outs with her gate placement, uh, allowing all of her troops to move freely. So that's her war base. You guys wanted to see it. I'm going to get her to show it as well on hers. There you go. And Steven, that's their one. Their one went two down and got 19% two stars. I got 95% and three stars. Blow. There you have it. If you like this video, be sure to click like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. And keep your sticks on the ice. And have a good time.